Hello, I'm Don Rich. Welcome to this episode of Rich Insights. Today we're going to talk about relative valuations, relative valuations within equities, of course. All right, now we've just experienced a tremendous run up in the U.S. markets. Right? We were up over 30% last year. Right, we're standing here uh, in the uh, in January of 2020, and the uh, markets continue. And so a lot of people are getting concerned about the lofty valuations. And, yeah, things are nuts. There's no doubt about it. Valuations have become quite stretched. And so occasionally you'll hear that Europe is cheaper than the U.S. Well, that's like saying, consider two bags of groceries on your kitchen table, for instance. That's like saying the Walmart bag is a better value or it's cheaper than your grocery bag. That's just ridiculous, right? The reason it's ridiculous, of course, is the compositions are different. It's not an apples to apples comparison. So that's what I want to highlight today, that comparing one market to another market uh, without adjusting for the differences in composition um, really tells you nothing. Yes, Europe has a lower PE ratio than the U.S. Europe always has a lower P.E. ratio than the U.S. So that doesn't uh, tell you anything. So let's go to the charts, and I'll uh, uh, put some specifics to what I'm talking about here. So here is the composition of the S&P 500. All right. To no one's surprise, the biggest sector, we have 11 sectors in the U.S. They just added one. I'll talk about it in a second. I added one about two years ago. But <clears throat> the biggest sector is tech. Right. And during, you know, we, we are currently in this period, the longest expansion in U.S. history. And tech has had a tremendous run up and it is now about 25 percent of the S&P 500 of, of the U.S. large cap stocks market. Right. But that doesn't even tell the full story. If tech in the U.S. is really not 25 percent because a couple of years ago they added a new one or, or didn't so much add a new one, but, but they, they changed. They took a number of things out of tech and they put them over here in telecom. All right, they took Facebook, Twitter, Netflix, a number of these firms, they called them electronic entertainment or electronic media companies, and they put them over here in telecom. So the U.S. market's at least, call it 25%, and it's going to be much more. Also, Amazon. Amazon's not in the tech bucket. Amazon's over here in consumer discretionary, all right? So again, the broadest definition of tech is going to be far higher than this 25% number. And what about biotechs? Biotechs are actually in this bucket, healthcare. So if we actually talk about tech in its broadest sense, the U.S. market may be as much as nearly 50% uh, tech weighted. Now, how does that compare to Europe? Europe has about 5%, uh, 5 to 6% uh, tech allocation. So again, it's, it's like the, the, the bag, uh, the Walmart bag versus the grocery bag. The two cannot be compared. I want to show you one more uh, chart here uh, before we go. This is a little harder to see because um, there's a lot on here, but top 10 components of the S&P 500, all right? The two largest are Apple and Microsoft. Top 10 uh, firms in the NASDAQ, Apple, Microsoft again. And what about the Dow? Over here we got have the 30 components, the 30 firms. Uh, it's called the Dow 30, if, if you didn't know. that. They're, so there are 500 firms there. Uh, there's only 30 firms here. But the two largest, again, Apple, Microsoft, Apple, Microsoft, Apple, Microsoft. So you start to appreciate why everything in the U.S. is moving together. They're all driven by large tech companies. So again, is, is the U.S. market stretched? Yes, right? It's, it's expensive on a price earnings basis, expensive on a price of book. It's expensive no matter how you measure it. But to say that Europe or emerging markets or some other market is, is cheaper, uh, just at, at face value, it makes no sense at all. The compositions are so different. I'm Don Rich, and you just experienced a rich insight. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Talk again soon.